So why is everyone so grossed out by earwax? Well, for one, it looks yucky. It's brown, greenish, gunky, and sometimes gooey and sticky. Just seeing it can make you feel unclean and in need of hygiene. But get over it. Everyone has it, and it's a good thing you do, or you'd be in a lot of trouble. Hi, I'm Dr. Katrina Lapham, an audiologist at Hearing Health Center. And you should know there's a reason you have earwax. It creates a waterproof lining in your ears that keeps them dry, which prevents germs and bacteria from causing constant infections. It traps dirt and dust and little pieces of cotton from those nasty Q-tips and all the stuff that gets stuck in the hairspray that you accidentally sprayed in your ears. Wax keeps your ears lubricated and repels fungi, insects, and water. In fact, having too little earwax or overcleaning your ears can cause dry, flaky, and itching ears and trigger infections. Most ears are self-cleaning. Every time you chew or talk, the movement of your jaw causes the dusty, germ-laden wax to be pushed towards the opening of your ear, where it usually flakes and falls out. Meanwhile, the glands in your ear canals are producing new, protective, fresh wax. When you stick objects in your ear, you're really not helping. You're actually pushing all the wax deeper into the canal and causing it to keep building up. Then the wax gets impacted. When wax becomes impacted, sometimes you get hearing loss, you get an earache, you get tinnitus or ringing in your ears, your ears itch, you get an ear infection. There are some things that can cause excessive wax buildup. The number one cause of excessive wax buildup is self-cleaning attempts. Genetics. Some people just produce too much. It runs in the family. Frequent headphone use and using hearing aids can block the ears from performing their natural self-cleaning process. Age. The ears produce less moisture and the ear canals can narrow, causing the dry wax to get stuck. Your ears need to breathe and get air. The bottom line is, cleaning your ears isn't a do-it-yourself project. If you think you have earwax buildup, do not try to fix it yourself. Your audiologist or doctor can remove it quickly, easily, comfortably, and professionally.